there's not many people in this world that will drive into a fire or drive into a flood simply to take pictures. I'm always very mindful that I don't want to lose my life. You know, it's like I have, I've got a family to go back to, but I don't know what drives me to do it. You know, it's something I've done since I was young. My first real shot of news was when I was eight years old. We lived right, right across the lake from a marina where they had a boat harbor there and they would fix the engines and the boats and caught on fire one night. So I was out um, taking pictures with my dad's Polaroid land camera uh, at 10 o'clock at night with these flames shooting out of this roof. And that was pretty much my first time that I'd ever shot any spot news, eight years old. I got my first camera when I turned 15 years old. When fire season broke out, if they were close enough within five miles, I'd ride my 10 speed to the fires. Uh, weather to me is really fascinating. And when something weather related happens, I want to be all over. I want to be there. Because I feel I can make really good pictures from a fire and from a flood. Kind of fearless that way. In the last three years, I've covered some really gut-wrenching fires. Each one of them have impacted me uh, in ways that I never could have thought it would impact me. When I left that night for the fire, uh, I told my wife and I said, you know, I'll be home in a couple hours. She said, no, you won't. You know, I was like, well, probably will. She said, no, you won't. You know, you're gonna be out there all night. And uh, she gave me a kiss goodbye. And I said goodbye to my son and I hopped in my car and drove up the road. When the fire came into Santa Rosa and I started seeing homes of people that I'd, I'd been into their homes, played ball with their kids, uh, you know, we'd had dinner with them. When the fire started taking those homes out, it was like so many gut punched you, sucker punch. That's how I felt. This eclipsed what I'd covered before. It just was almost, it was unbelievable. Our whole entire photo staff ran into the fire. We all covered the fire that night and that early morning. And we all have this, you know, the same stories, you know, about how do we cover this when our community is burning. It's very difficult, but you still, you do it because it's what you do, it's your job. There's something that clicks in you. You just have to, you, you, you just got to put your mind to it that I have to cover this. I have got to cover this and I've got to cover it the best way I can without getting hurt because the story needs to be told. No one was covering it like we were. There were no television stations there. You know, it was just us. Hi, this is Kent Porter with the Press Democrat on Porter Creek Road, just east of Safari West. Uh, evacuation's going on at Safari West and Porter Creek. I'm proud of the fact that we all pulled together as a newsroom and told the stories that needed to be told. We owe that to our community because we're a community newspaper. I'm proud of that. The work we do at the Press Democrat was seen all over the world. People sent me electronic clips from um, Italy and a couple from Sweden, one from Germany, and one from Canada. There was several back east of my photos that were ran in these, in these communities uh, of, of, of this fire. And uh, we've gotten people from all over the world, you know, donating money to help fire relief victims. And really that's what journalism is all about. I think that's what community journalism is all about, is that you're making a difference in somebody's life and uh, you owe it to your community to get that story out there to as many people as you can. You know, because you never know where that help's gonna come from. And in a situation like this, so much devastation and so much loss and so much personal pain, we need all the help we can get. You know, you simply just, you can't do it alone. That journalism's not dead, you know, and that's what we proved here. Journalism's not dead. We're, we are vital to the community because no one else tells the story here that, that we do.